say anything before the shotgun fire? Yes. What did you hear the defendant say before the shotgun fire? Exactly, in verbatim. Um, I think we need to hear it verbatim. Yes, that's what they want. Go ahead. He said, what the fuck you doing in my motherfucking room, you fucking stoolie? You heard that? Yes. Did you notice whether or not, uh, did you notice um, how the defendant was holding the shotgun before he flipped it up? I don't understand your question. All right. Uh, perhaps I could say it this way. Could you tell what hand or hands, whether, well, let's put it this way. Did the defendant flip the shotgun up with one hand or two hands? To the best, uh, one hand. Did you notice where the defendant's hand was on the shotgun? Do I know where his hand was? Could you re can you recall <coughs> where the defendant's hand was on the shotgun when you saw the defendant's hand on the shotgun? Who was on the trigger? Do you know for a fact whether or not the defendant actually pulled the trigger? Yes. The jury believes Benoit Benjamin, then Jason Williams, is in a world of trouble on those manslaughter charges. Now, Billy Martin, the defense attorney, didn't like this testimony one bit. Let's see what he does with it on cross-examination. like you to take the gun in your hand. Why do I need to take the gun in my hand? Because yesterday, when the prosecutor put the gun in your hand, you took it and you showed the jury how the gun was held. I'm asking you, since you did it once, to do it again, please. What do you want me to do? To put it in your hands? Which hand? Whatever hand you're trying to do, that's what I need to know. First, put it in your hand, and we'll figure out what to do with it. What, what do you want me to try to simulate? Put it in your right hand, please. I don't want to put it in my right hand. Put it in your left hand. Are you left handed or right handed? In right hand. I'd ask you to show us, whether it's with your right hand or your left hand, what you saw Jason Williams do with that gun. Your Honor, I would, I would object the way he set up. He's going to be pointing that gun right out towards the audience, and I would ask that Mr. Martin direct him to turn around so he's pointing towards the wall. Yes, he would. In fact, the jury will have a better view. <clears throat> now, are you facing, if, if you, in your memory, are you now facing the gun cabinet? Is Jason facing the gun cabinet in the position you're in? The gun cabinet is behind. Okay, I ask you to turn around so you're facing the gun cabinet. Turn around as though I'm facing the gun cabinet? Yes, sir. Now let's let's move the gun cabinet because I'd rather have them pointing this way. I need him to turn because the gun's going to be coming facing that way. Huh? This is the gun cabinet. This way. gun cabinet's back there. I yeah. just turn around. The gun cabinet is okay. This is the gun cabinet right here, sir. The box. Yeah, the box. Turn around and face the box, please. Show the jury as best you recall. Can you help me move that back just in case also puts watch the courts? Court, court, you guys. <coughs> Show the jury as best you can what Jason Williams did when he took that gun out of the gun cabinet. You want the, the, the actual to... act of taking the gun out of the cabinet? Uh, I... The action, it, 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 I didn't see him take it. I mean, I, well, I I'm just didn't. trying to clarify. What That's fine. I'm it. trying to, as much as you can, if you didn't see him take it out of the gun cabinet, tell the jury at what point you saw the gun. Well, I saw him when he had got it out, maybe a second after he had opened the door and was coming back this way with the gun. Okay. Show the jury what he did from that point forward. And I will stand where you were standing. Where were you standing? Well, I mean, you know, that's the gun cabinet. That's Jason. Well, I wasn't fa he wasn't facing the gun cabinet. His back was to the gun cabinet. When that's he took why it out, when he took it out, he, when he took it, when he took the when he took the gun out the cabinet, he, this is the cabinet. He came. He, I guess he came to get the gun, something like this, and came over here, something like this with it. I think. For the record, Your Honor, the witness's testimony was he thinks that he must have had the gun with two hands 
turned with two hands toward, I assume, Mr. Christophe, right? Is I that right? I think he had the gun with two hands. Again, if you don't know, tell the jury you don't know. Your Honor, that's, been asked, really Your Honor, that's been asked and answered about three times already. He said, I think. Sustain. I think the jury understands what he means when he says, I think. If I could ask you, sir, if you don't know the answer, please don't think. If you don't know what the answer to a question is. Well, I'm just reading what was in my statement. I'm asking you in court now. And I'm telling you that I read what was in my statement. But that statement is not your testimony. Please tell the jury, as, you, as you're here in court today in Jason Williams' trial, please tell the jury what you remember of your own knowledge. And what that's happened. what I'm trying to do. Do you remember how the gun was taken out of the gun cabinet? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Do you remember how Mr. Williams turned once he had the gun in his hand, yes or no? Yes. Show the jury how he turned. You turned. Please don't point the gun in the direction of the jury. Well, then you asked me to show you. I'm trying to show you the scenario. Can you do it without, I'll stand here. <laughs> well, he, he got the gun out of the cabinet and he turned this way. No, since you're not pointing the gun, please show him again. I thought you were gonna put the gun up. He went in the gun cabinet, got the gun and turned this way. Now, this time he had one hand. You, you don't know, correct? I said that I think. Okay. I just want to make sure. I, I, I said that I think. I'm just making sure. Four or five times. I think. 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 What did he do after you think he had the gun in that position? Well, he was fumbling with the gun, playing with it. He's, how was he fumbling with it? How was he fumbling with the gun and playing with it? He was messing with the gun. Show the jury what he was doing. For the record, when you snapped that gun, you moved your hand, your finger from below the trigger guard to inside the trigger guard. Is that what you think he did? No, it's not what I think that he did. I didn't do anything. You need to get him up here and ask him what did he do. I did nothing. Can I ask you I'm this? I'm just a witness. May I ask you this? Sure. You played 15 years in the sure NBA, did. correct? Sure did. And you understand I'm a the judge is the referee. No, I'm, just, I'm asking you to let the judge make the rules, okay? Fine. Now, I ask you to... And I'm, and, and I'm telling you, you asked me to show you, and I'm trying to show you to the best of my ability what I remember. I'm asking you, did, did Mr. Williams do what you just did? You had your finger on the trigger. You're pulling the trigger back. You didn't see him do that, did you? Did you see him do that or not? <clears throat> did I see Jason pull the trigger? Yes, I saw him pull the trigger. Where were you standing if Jason is now with his back to the well, camera? Can, well, can you be Jason and I stand where I was standing? I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you the scenario the way I remember it. Does it help you back? Doesn't make Yes, it do. It do. Okay. okay. No, no, no. No, you stand here. You're Jason. You're Jason with the gun, and I'm going to stand where I was in the room. That's what you asked me to do, correct? That's not what I asked you. That's what you wanted. Okay. Well, what did you want me to do? The council will assist you. This is unbelievable. I think it's just priceless, one of the best parts of this trial. Um, and then, you know, it seems like Billy Martin enjoyed doing this with the gun flipping up. He did it so many times during his closing argument. I'm going to bring in our special guest today, Henry Klingman, uh, criminal defense attorney. What do you think of this uh, courtroom antics going on between Benoit Benjamin and Billy Martin? Well, it's very entertaining, obviously, but uh, as much as...